Hello learners, welcome to Constant Learners. In the previous video, we discussed cardinality and we completed the first type of cardinality that is one-to-one -one relationship. In today's video, we are going to discuss one-to-many and many-to-one relationship. In this video also, we are going to use the ER model as well as the relational model to understand both of these concepts. Also, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and push the notification bell so that you can get notified every time I upload a new video. All right, let's get started. First, let's start with the ER model here. We have two entities here, client and bank account. The client entity has three attributes, client ID, client name and client phone number. And bank account entity also has three attributes, account number, account type and account balance. Now the relationship that we need to build between the client and the bank account is every client can own many bank accounts. That is one client can own multiple or let's say many bank accounts. But the opposite of this would be one bank account can be owned by only one client. All right. Every bank account will be owned by one client. It cannot be shared by more than one clients. But every client or let's say one client can own many bank accounts. Let's understand this with the help of relational model. In the relational model also, we have the client entity and the bank account entity and we have created two tables for the same. Client ID is the primary key in this table wherein we have three clients C1, C2 and C3. And in the bank accounts table, we have account number as the primary key wherein we have five accounts A01, 02, 03, 04 and 05. Now we need to build a relationship between client and bank account and the relationship will be that every client can own many bank accounts. Now we know that whenever we try to build a relationship between two entities, we use their primary keys. So let's use these primary keys that is client ID and account number and we have built this relationship table here. In this table, client C1 has two bank accounts, A01, A05. Client C2 has bank account A02. And client C3 has again two bank accounts, A03 and A04. So one client is owning more than one bank accounts, right? Again here, this client C3, this is one client, but he is owning more than one bank accounts. Is this establishing a one-to-many relationship? Yes, of course it is. See, here C1 is having two bank accounts. C3 is also having two bank accounts. So one client is going to many bank accounts accounts right so this is a one to many relationship one to many relationship so what is the definition of one to many relationship an entity in set a this is set a relates to many occurrences of another entity in set b like this entity in set a is relating to two occurrences of another entity in set B, right? In other words, an entity in set A can be linked with any number of entities in set B. So one entity can be linked with any number of entities. Like this client is having two bank accounts. He can also have more than two bank accounts, as many as he wants. While an entity in set B can be linked with only one entity in set A, right? So this entity in set B can be linked with only one client in set A. This bank account can be linked with only one client. Again, this bank account can be linked with only one client. So any entity in this set can be linked with only one entity in set A. This is one to many relationship. 
when one entity in set A can be linked with many entities in set B. All right. Now, this relationship table has been made with two primary keys. One is the client ID and the account number, right? Client ID has, of course, client IDs. And here we have the account numbers that are linked to those particular clients, right? Now, this is also a table, right? And we know that no table in a relational model can exist without a primary key. Now, in this case, which one will be the primary key? Can client ID be the primary key? No. Why not? Because there is repetitive or redundant data in this column, right? Client ID. Here, there are two clients with the same client ID. There are two clients, C3, with the same client ID. And primary key cannot have repetitive or redundant data. This attribute is supposed to be unique if it has to become a primary key. On the other hand, account number is unique. A01, A02, A03, A04 and A05. So all the entries in this attribute is unique and thus only this attribute that is account number is eligible to become the primary key. So account number will become the primary key. Now this client ID, CID, this column is taking reference from the primary key in this table, right? And whenever an attribute in a table takes reference from primary key in another table, then it is known as a foreign key. So in this table, client ID will act as the foreign key, right? So account number is unique. Hence, we've taken it as a primary key and client ID is not unique and thus it will act as a foreign key because client ID is the primary key in the client table, right? Now, when we discussed one-to-one -one relationship, we discussed that both the attributes in the relationship table should be unique. That is, every client could have only one bank account. But only then a one-to-one -one relationship could be established, right? And that is why in that case, we've already discussed this in the previous video. In that case, either client ID could be taken as the primary key or account number could also be taken as the primary key in case of one-to-one -one relationship. But here, in case of one-to-many relationship, only account number can be chosen as the primary key. So what do we conclude from this? What do we understand from this? We understand that the primary key is chosen from the entity which is on the many side. So one client can own many bank accounts, right? This is the one-to-many relationship. The primary key in the relationship table can only be taken from the many side because only the attribute that is from the many side will be unique and the attribute from the one side is not going to be unique. It is going to have repetitive or redundant data. All right. This is important. This could come as an MCQ in uh, any types of competitive examinations or interview tests that which side do we choose the primary key from in one to many and many to one relationship also. So we always choose the primary key from the many side. All right. Now, here also account number is the primary key and here also account number is the primary key. So in both of these tables, the primary key is same or common. That means we can merge these two tables together, right? We can make it one single table. Then we only need to add the client ID attribute in this table, which will act as the foreign key here also. All right. So this is how we can add the client ID as the foreign key in the bank account table. All right. Now, generally, foreign keys can accept null values 
and foreign keys may or may not be unique. In case of one-to-one -one relationship, foreign key was supposed to be unique. But in case of one-to-many or many-to-one relationship, the primary key is chosen from the many side and the foreign key is not unique. All right. Only then one-to-many relationship can be established. Similarly, many-to-one relationship is also the same, just the opposite of one to many. Also, I forgot one to many relationship is denoted by one is to m, but many to one relationship is denoted by m is to one. Here we have to build a many to one relationship. So many patients will be treated by one doctor, and one doctor will treat many patients, right? Now, here we have two entities patients and doctor, right? Patient ID is the primary key and your doctor ID is the primary key. Now, if you look at this, this patient is being treated by this doctor D20. Also, P15 is being treated by the doctor D20. So, two different patients are being treated by the same doctor, right? So, many patients are being treated by one doctor. Similarly, this patient P12 and P14 they are being treated by the same doctor that is D10. So many patients are being treated by the same doctor. So this is many to one relationship. Many patients are being treated by one doctor. All right. Again, just like one to many, primary key is chosen from the many side. Now this time many side is this. The patient side is the many side. So Patient ID will be chosen as the primary key. Then, of course, doctor ID will be chosen as the foreign key. So, here we have the doctor ID as the foreign key. And foreign key is not unique. So, of course, it won't be unique because patient 11 is being treated by Dr. D20. Right? But Dr. D20 is also treating the patient P15. Right? D10 is treating patient P12. But D10 is also treating the patient P14. So, doctor ID is not unique. All right. Patient ID is unique and thus it is the primary key. But doctor ID is taking reference from the primary key in this table. And thus, this will act as the foreign key. The definition of many to one relationship is multiple occurrences of an entity in set A can relate to one occurrence of another entity in set B. So, multiple entities in set A is relating to one single entity in set B. In other words, an entity in set B can be linked with any number of entities in set A. So, one entity in set B is linking to many entities in set A, while an entity in set A can be linked with only one entity in set B. This is many to one relationship. All right. I hope that all of these points were very clear. What is one to many relationship? What is many to one relationship? How the relationship is established using the primary key? The primary key is always chosen from the many side. Foreign key cannot be unique in this case. If it is unique, then one to one relationship will be established and one to many or many to one relationship will not be established and thus foreign key in both of these cases is not unique. All right. I hope that this was clear. If there was any doubt, any queries, any suggestions, please write them in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up. Share it with as many friends as you can. And thank you so much for watching.